Yes? Sorry. I'm... I've got this letter. Sent to an old friend of mine, Mr. Tacitus Kilgore. Now, he ain't with us no more, but I thought maybe I would be of assistance instead. Well, well, well. Let me see if the mayor has any use for you. Follow me, please, Mr. Um, what was it? Oh, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, John Marston. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rub me like your friend, are you? No. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people who want to speak to you, Mr. Marston. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Oh, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I could do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, mm. a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. Uh, and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Oof. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So... So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Marston, John Marston, to meet little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. My friend helped you at the pond. He did? Oh, oh, the, the buffoon! <laughs> yes, he did! <laughs> uh, uh, hello? <laughs> hello. I uh, hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost saw the biggest problem, and you mess it up! I did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, uh, what? Well, it, it, it is uh, the geometry of life, uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. Huh? <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Okay, but... Uh... I'm not much of a scientist. Well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I'd ever gone to school and had a clue of what was going on. What now? Well, now, I... I'm the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this.
Missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, huh? Second time? <laughs> More like seven thousandth. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Hamish! John, come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <laughs> I do. I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. <laughs> All right. I don't have time for this. No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. No, can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Hmm. Okay. Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. 
Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Look, do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? What do you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. I'm a pretty good shot, boys, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everybody knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. I think... Me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boy, you are too much. You are too much. Every day. No, that's... You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh, enough, gentlemen? Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen. I am I sitting in the wrong place? Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea, but I had no idea how I offended the last fellas, and they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon over back chat. Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way did they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please, don't go to any trouble on my account. 
look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure and try to make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangeful. And I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh. Tell me. Is Arthur, uh... He passed away. A long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well... My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. And it's, uh... What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, uh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, John! How are you? Never better. I see you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward. Gerbil. Mommy's boy. Manatee. Effluent discharge. Milk sop. You already said that! Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. John, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, uh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Good luck! <laughs> you crazy bastard. We've been. You're the fool, but a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You're an earth shaker. World conqueror. Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys, I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch. Some other milksops, we will have none of it. But I, I thought Lamp, that... 
Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! <laughs> Boys! <sighs> Quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without me. No, probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Ma'am. <laughs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it works. Good luck. <laughs>